recently when I hit the Indian shop, I ended up buying some rice flour. I'm going to be making a dish called Ella Ada using this rice flour. You can even make Asian dumplings using this. So what the flour I'm using here is the Nirapara brand flour and um yes it's pretty good uh, i've made this already uh, because i used it for a previous recipe where i made the patiri so what i'll do is i'll just add in some footage from the previous recipe that i made onto this recipe video that way you get a chance to see how i made these round nice rice flour from scratch the recipe that i'm going to make today ella ada it's ella means leaf so it's an ada that they put inside the leaf and then um, use the filling inside and wrap it up but i'm not going to use a leaf today instead i'll use aluminium foil and see how that turns out first things first i'll show you how i made these here I've got about one cup of rice flour. I'm taking a pan and I'm going to heat up one cup of water with a little bit extra water, just a tiny bit. Just about one or two tablespoons of extra water I added, just in case because the water tends to, once it boils, it a little bit tends to evaporate. So we want the mixture to be nice and correct. I'm going to wait for this water to boil and bubble up nicely. Once that happens, I'm going to add in the mixture, the rice flour mixture, little by little and start mixing it. So just little by little at a time. While doing this, I've reduced the heat to low flame. Make sure that the rice flour is coated nicely with water and everything is nicely soaked up. So this is still dry. So I need to add in a little bit more water. Now all the rice flour powder has got a chance to coat and soak into the water. Uh, and there's no uh, correct way exactly of saying how much water to add because you just have to keep on adding little by little until the mixture ends up um, getting soaked in with the water and it ends up in this sort of a consistency. You can see that I'm able to press into it and that's the consistency. So what I'm going to do now is let it cook for a while. So it's in very low heat. That's why I'm able to touch the mixture. It's still hot and warm, but it's not that hot where it burns my hand or anything. So at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover it up and leave it there for five minutes to cook in this low heat. I've covered it up for about five minutes. After about five minutes, I've just taken it off the heat and I'm going to transfer it into another bowl. I've transferred the mixture and now what I'm going to do is just knead it. You can use your hands for kneading it and it has to be done while it's still hot and manageable. Otherwise, it's going to end up becoming very hard. Okay. What I'm doing is I'm using my hand to roll it and then I'm using the spoon to press it down so that it won't be as hot and it won't burn the hands. Once that's done, I'm just going to uh, divide it into different sections and make balls out of it. The hand pressure I'll be using while rolling it into balls is very light. So I'm not going to press in to make the balls. Just lightly, I'm going to roll it into balls. Okay, because I've just broken off one section and I'm going to roll it lightly into a ball shape. Once that's done, just like how we roll out chapatis, I'm going to just take a board, put on some flour, roll this out. Here's my cutting board. I've just placed on some rice flour, coating the ball on both sides and I'm going to roll it out flat. And nice and thin it has to be. I just changed my cutting board quickly because the other one was too small. Once I got it nice and paper thin, I'm just going to take a round ball, placing a round ball on top of it and pressing it hard. Once we get the shape, then it's easy to just take it off. See how easily it's coming off. You can see how lovely it is, nice and thin and perfect round. I've just dusted on some rice flour on a plate and I've placed the patri on top of that so just to make sure it doesn't stick. And I'm going to make the rest and I'll be back. Regarding the leftover one after I got the shape, I'll just roll it back into a bowl and that can be reused as well. The main thing is to let these remain warm because once it becomes cooled down, it's hard to roll out because it'll end up being hard. So best thing is to cover it up. It remains nice and warm in there. I made about four so far, but then the ball started cooling down and it's getting hard to manage. So I put it off back into the pan and closed it up in very low heat so that it will warm up and moisten again so it will be more manageable. Once it's warmed up a bit more, I'm going to just take them and roll them up again. Also, once it's kept for warming uh, before rolling, just to make it more softer with a steam so it's manageable to roll out. Once you get it to the desired heat, make sure to turn the heat off because otherwise it's going to just get burnt. 
and apart from that here it is we got it ready to go in order to make the others yeah i've got about 300 grams of sliced coconut I place it off into a blender i'm gonna add in some sugar that's depending on your personal preference you can even add jaggery instead i have a bit of a sweet tooth so i've added in about two tablespoons of sugar then i'm going to just drizzle on a little bit of honey maybe about one teaspoon i'm gonna add in one teaspoon of cardamom powder and half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon and then I'm going to blend it all up together and there we go our shredded coconut or shredded nariel whatever you like to call it is ready I place it off into this bowl next I've taken a sheet of aluminium foil and I'm going to line it with oil just going to spray on some coconut oil <laughs> then I'm going to place a rice flour circle on top of the aluminium foil and then take a little bit of this filling and then place it on here once I place the filling onto this I'm going to just take a brush and dip it in some water and then I'm going to seal this all over the edges so just going to dab in some water all over the edges then I'm going to fold this up into half and seal it like that in order to make sure that it's nicely sealed I'm just going to take the a fork and I'm just going to press down on the edges just to seal it up I know it looks a bit messy but still at least we get it sealed nicely I'm not too worried if it's cracked or anything like that because after all I'm just going to close it up seal it and steam it I'm just going to spray some oil on top of this and then close it up there we go it's forming a nice little package I've nicely sealed up the edges I'm going to do the rest the same way and I'll be back here's the second one that I'm making and that's also nicely sealed up now all our lovely little packages are ready next in order to steam it I'm going to take a big vessel and I've put a little bit of water into it I'm going to place another little vessel on top of that and I place the little packages into that vessel I'm going to turn on the heat and place a lid on top and let it steam for about 10 to 15 minutes nicely steaming away so what I did was I put uh, took the round circle of the rice flour place the filling on top and folded it up into half and uh, that's the reason why it was cracking a bit but I was very impatient another thing you can do if you want to avoid it is take a round circle of the flour place the filling on top in the middle and then play, take another circle of flour and place it on top of that and cover it and then seal it on the sides so that way uh, you won't risk the chance of it breaking or anything but you will need a bigger aluminium foil in order to cover that whole big round circle and then when you once it's ready and you cut it into half it'll look good but I'm just making it at home but this is the basic idea and uh, yeah so I don't know how it's going to turn out it might be cracked up or broken but still the thing is um, yeah I'm not fussed about it because it's at home and it's just a casual uh, I'm casually just making it today so no problem after about 10 to 15 minutes it should be nice and ready I'm going to take off the lid here's our lovely steamed packages I'm going to carefully take it out and slowly open them up and see what's waiting inside I'm going to slowly open this up oh wow look at it it's nice and ready looking lovely isn't it Here's the first one, so I'm going to open up the rest and I'll be back. And here it is everyone, this is the best I can do. So obviously it's not perfect as it's cracked up a bit, but still it's tasty nevertheless. And as you can see here on the sides, I've just cut one up to show you how it looks like inside. You can see that the coconut has nicely softened up and infused with the cardamom, coriander and sugar that's melted up also it's got a hint of honey in it as well you can see that the rice parcels are nicely moistened up and soft with a steam it got a chance to boil and apart from that here it is everyone our sweet rice flour parcels are ready or it's also called the ella ada ella means leaf so this instead of aluminium foil it was actually meant to be wrapped up in a banana leaf and steamed but because I don't have the banana leaf at the moment I just use aluminium foil to improvise instead it's a South Indian Kerala dish and if you add it in jaggery along with the coconut it will be nice like a white um, flour mixture on a uh, flour coating outside with a nice golden brown jaggery like uh, color inside but I didn't have jaggery so I just added in sugar and honey but the taste like i said it's always going to be good nevertheless and kids will love it enjoy bye <coughs>